this is gonna be sketchy as hell recording. Oh god, yeah. So, so they've got different ideologies, I noticed. Hmm. Yeah, there's monarchism now as well. Okay, I just thought of an interesting idea. Hmm. Since we have no idea that we've played this one, we could probably team up as France and Italy and just wreck the world. We could. You like that idea? I think that's an interesting idea, I want to give it a go, yeah. yeah let's give that a go. We'll play as Italy. I think we should both go monarchist. Oh, yeah. Time to bring back imperialism. Fuck yes, boy. Napoleon the <laughs> Fourth. We will Africa as well. Africa's fucked. We will claim Africa. We will say, screw you, Germany. <laughs> Glorious. Alright, I'm keen for this. I like how I start with outdated production um, equipment. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I mean, Why, though? I'm connected. Why are my submarines, like, outdated equipment immediately? I start over a million this. manpower. That's excellent. Great. These boats <laughs> look really weird. What the hell is this stuff? Oh. I, I, so this is, like, all the early equipment, I guess. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot about this. The mod adds so that um, anti-tank weaponry and yeah. infantry equipment are separate things now. Oh. 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 I mean, so we can't... different statistics in combat, so, so you we... have to be producing both. So I can't be a lazy bugger anymore. Yeah. That's why I sometimes feel like with the production cues of this game, I feel like I feel like I'm more lazy. <laughs> Just jam pack mm. everything to one thing. Well, we've got a lot of equipment to edit. Let's look at the Italian focus tree. Okay, it's exactly the same. Our Germany, apart from the flag being different, it's uh, the focus trees are pretty much the same. We're playing the same game. How about Norway? Nope. Okay, Sweden. Oh, Sweden's got a focus. Yeah, I think they added some stuff to China as well. Oh, that would be interesting. Oh my god, infantry service rifles is now a thing. Have a look at that in the tech. Oh, okay. Let me check the check three. We've got infantry, surface rifles... <laughs> oh god, I can build for mass. <laughs> no! Well, a lot of guns. We do have a lot of things to keep track of. Yeah, there's a lot more in this. We've got aircraft and large aircraft. So they split it into two sections. Okay. Yeah. That's quite interesting. They seem to have, like, divvied up a lot of different things. Yes. So, like my women's... Want to research. That's the question. 1935, there's a lot of stuff that we can't research because it will be 1936. Well... Let's we'll slow down our research. Um... I'm using the same tactic I'm always taking. Mm. Industry and science. Yeah, pretty much. So it's a good solid. But well, we definitely need new, um, well, yesterday I definitely need new surface rifles. Yeah, yeah, I'm researching the new surface rifle. Um... Why have an advisor to make me, yes, I can become a monarchy. I can make the new Italian Empire. Yeah, what can I do with this? Where is my stuff? I want, I want to become a monarchist, how can I do that? It's... Royal Sympathizer, there we yeah. go. Just gonna click on that guy, and we can become a new world, world-wide imperialism. Recruitment law. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah. Um, Have you countries. played um the um the new order mod? I haven't. I want to. Uh, this is the new order mod with the um the recruitment law and the oh, laws okay. and government. So this is basically like an expansion of it. Yeah, because I played that mod when it first came out last year. Oh, yeah. So it's been out for a little while. Giving people some time to sort of adapt on it. Yeah. There's something I, I do notice in my playthroughs of this game that I sort of become... Well, I was about to say lazy, not really lazy, but I don't bother with aircraft carriers. Yeah. I always see them as takes too long to make, and Fair enough. 
can't be bothered to make them. But I definitely need anti-tank infantry if I'm gonna freaking destroy Germany. Mm, yeah. I've actually never played as France in this game. Oh, okay. My only time I played France was I was playing my um recording of how to survive against Germany. Yeah. Which I pretty much joined with Germany to destroy Britain and took over their colonies. Nice. It's <laughs> uh, one way to do it, I suppose. It was um glorious. Because why follow the basic rules when I can just betray Britain and go Fuck, here? There's so many communists in France. Ah, uh, yeah. You're gonna get tons of protests. Because part of France, you, you get protests in the next couple of years. Because Vic of CERN says it's meant to be expert AI. Yeah, expert AI kind of concerns me. Time to wreck Ethiopia for the hundredth time. Yep. Organizing the fleets is such cancer. <laughs> the amount of separate fleets you start off with is ridiculous. I know, right? Just build it into two like major fleets, if that. Maybe just have one major fleet, really. Yeah. Especially as France, you don't have all that many boats, so you might as well just have one major fleet. I mean... Then the Germans have like all these little fleets, and it's like, what are you doing? Yes. Bring the, the big fleet. The Mediterranean should be very easy for us to control. Yeah. Like, honestly, Italy has the strongest navy in the entire Mediterranean. Exactly. You can actually compete with the British. Yes. But usually, if you're single player, you have to be... A bit smart with your fleets. Oh god, yeah. Especially with whatever AI we're using. Sounds a little bit concerning. We might have to actually fight this pretty hard. Yes. Because we're on too used to how easy to fool the AI. <laughs> but who knows? Who knows what it'd be actually like. Ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the Great War stockpile. Not sure why it bothered to tell me that, but sure, why not? wasn't even an option, it was just like, keep it. That's your only That's your only um, option, you can't say anything else on this. <laughs> yeah, I've actually never played France. I do like how contained it is, though. Oh, uh, okay. I can't stand playing as something like the UK or, um, like, America. Oh, since you're on the other side of the world. I, I play naval stuff, like, it just annoys me. <laughs> naval invasions. I yeah. feel like I'm starting with... Hey. Fuck! <laughs> Where is it? I know. It can be quite annoying sometimes. I'm going to expand the Maginot line across uh, Belgium. Fair enough. Because my goal will be striking the Italians from the east. Oh, not the Italians, I mean striking the Germans from the If I'm Italy. Honestly, dude, take yeah. out Austria. Yes. I, I, that's what I do in my Italian campaign. I invade Austria, then I invade Yugoslavia, Albania, and Greece. Actually, I'll go at war with um, Austria as quick as I can. Yeah, do that. And it's your best bet, because then you actually cripple Germany, because they're like, wait, we want to Anschluss, though. <laughs> and they can't Anschluss. And then their invasion of Czechoslovakia is ten times harder as well, because they don't have that back door. Yes, so I'm planning to build up a massive wall across the German border. Man, there's a new album by Sabaton out, it's really good. Okay, what theme are they doing this time? Um, it's called The Last Stand. It's got like stuff from like Sparta and the Serbians during uh, World War One and all this stuff. Oh, yes. Dude, there's some psychotic shit that the Serbians did during World War One. Like, um, the song yeah. about, uh, the Serbians is called Your Last Dying Breath, right? Yeah. And it's all about, um, when, uh, like, the Germans, uh, basically just pounded them with gas shells in this place, and they didn't have any gas masks or anything, they were literally coughing up blood and all this, and they charged the German lines with, like, blood <laughs> streaming down their faces and shit, and the Germans were fucking terrified. <laughs> it's like these slums are crazy, I tell ya. I'll tell you, Hans, these slides are crazy. 
tell you what, Hans. <laughs> this is fucking nuts. The free press. Fuck that. Yeah. I'm gonna change to uh, aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I, I need feel aggressive like so I can justify war goals faster, and then I'm gonna go full monarchist. We're taking over Europe, nigga. We are. We're gonna destroy them all. I don't know why my fleet's immediately like amassed in too long. I don't need to worry about the Mediterranean. <laughs> You're dealing with that. Yes. You send your fleets to protect the rest of your colonies. Uh, are you gonna protect some of your colonies, or? I don't give a fuck about my colonies. I might, I might like keep track of my one in China. Okay. I actually do kind of care about like the war in China and everything, so we're gonna have to deal with that eventually. Yes, we're ten sure that Japan could be a threat. Yeah. Oh, have you looked at the uh, portrait of Japan? Oh yeah, it's a different guy, isn't it? It's Hideko. Isn't he the Prime Minister? Hideki Tojo. I think he is. Yes. Leader of Imperial Japan. What? I don't know. It's weird. So that's different. Japan's government system is fucking strange, dude. I mean, the founder of its government, Emperor Meiji, his so-called democracy is extremely weird. Yeah. It's Asian, what do you expect? Yes. I'm gonna try to deal with Austria as soon as I can. Yeah, it's your best bet. So Don't I can... even bother with Switzerland, it's actually a pain in the ass. Why would I bother with Switzerland? <laughs> I've actually tried to invade Switzerland as Italy before, it's just not worth your time. I don't know. It takes so long. All those mountains and... I'm gonna try and cripple, like, Germany's trade. Just like they try and cripple other people's. Ah, uh, yep. What resources are in Austria? Some steel and a bit of oil. That sounds... pretty good. It's got a fair few factories, if I remember rightly. Yes. Yeah, it does have sorts of a nice little bit of factories. Mm, that's why the Anschluss is so good for Germany. Yeah, and increased population. Because look how many people live in there. Pretty sure it's about. All right. <laughs> ten... yeah, you're gonna take it. Yeah, about 10 million Germans, I think, live there. This don't, don't worry, I'll uh, I'll defend your right to take Yugoslavia, hopefully. Yeah. Well, it depends if the world isn't overly crazy. What we do to I, you? I wonder Yugoslavia. how people are gonna feel about um, the monarchist France and Italy. <laughs> well, you essentially can restore. You're gonna create the fourth. Wait, no, the Third French Empire. Yeah. Charlemagne was right. <laughs> oh, boys. Onwards. The new Franco-Italian forces. The Franco-Italian allies. Totally strange to think that the Italians and the French would ever team up, but yeah. I mean, they only team up once in history. Yeah. That's was against Austria. Of course, because everyone hates Austria. <laughs> yes. Uh... Okay, my um... I wasn't paying attention at all at the war in Ethiopia. My troops have broken in. A little bit too deeply than I thought they would. I wish I could invade Germany just now, just be like, yep. <laughs> the end of yeah. Germany is nigh, France comes. Well, you can with the Rhineland, but that causes you to have a civil war. Yeah. I don't know. If, if we're set up by the time the Rhineland comes, we'll do it, but not, not until then. Well, they, they're gonna have the Rhine or even I have a chance to lead Austria. Yeah. It's gonna... Okay, I'm declaring war now. Awesome. July next year. Oh, it's 1935, I just realised. <laughs> I've got time! Ugh. Actually, starting with 1935 sort of makes things go a little bit quicker by a couple yeah. of months. 
It gives you a bit more prep time so that you can actually kick into it in 1936. So Germany starts with a manpower of over 300 million. You know, I was having a look at some statistics. Yeah. In um, in 70 AD, the uh, Roman siege of Jerusalem, they killed 1.1 million non-combatants. That's a fucking lot of people back then. Hang on, pause a second. Oh shit, yeah, I need to as well. I saw, I just got a notification that people, some countries are supporting um, booming Austria. Yeah, there was a warning issued against you, but you ignored the warning. No, I don't care. <laughs> so, now I have the remilitarization of the Rhineland. Uh, if you go against them, a civil war would occur. Yeah, no, I don't need that shit right now. I'm, issu I'm issuing a, a diplomatic warning. Uh, okay. Because you need a soldier. Communist I problem. Need to solve my fucking communist problem, yeah. Thirty percent commies. Gee. Oh my god, dude! Guess who the leader of the royalist group is? Who? Napoleon the sixth. Napoleon the sixth. Excellent. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like Napoleon the fourth, but never mind. Oh, I got pause it, please. I got an event. Africa, Oriental, Italia. Our leaders in Rome propose we establish a new colony. Um, keep it on this. I can make Ethiopia a puppet colony. Oh, really? But no, I'm gonna keep it control. I want that. I want those two factories. I do like these mods because it gives you a bit of flavor, even if, yes. even though like this one, it's not too different. No, it's not. But it's enough flavor to give you like a taste of something different and make you interested in the campaign again. Yes, spices things up pretty much. Hmm. Got fifty-seven submarines in Dunkirk. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, 57 submarines. <laughs> That's a hell of submarines. I've only got 74, like, main ships, though. Oh, okay. Sorry, 72. I've actually got two submarines sitting there. What the fuck are you doing? Go over there. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a cat. I've actually got an aircraft carrier. Weird. Okay. Yeah, the first thing I'm beelining for is a monarchist uh, revolutionary. Okay. I'm gonna deal with, um... Lumen. Um, Austria first. Uh. We on good terms now, Niggy. Yes. I like how you're guaranteeing the independence of Albania. That's gonna change pretty soon. That would. <laughs> Actually, I've got so much fleets in the Mediterranean. I'm still a bit skeptical about just manning my own ports. Yeah. Because I shouldn't be, because I've got full control of the Mediterranean with my fleets. Oh, well. Actually, how many fleets does the United Kingdom start on this mod? Still about the same. I there start are 42 with... divisions on the border of Germany. Okay. Fight me, cunt. <laughs> Come at me. <laughs> Level 10 forts, just look like, let's go, <laughs> Sunny Jim. <laughs> I hope the AI is retarded enough to try and fight through the Maginot. Oh, yes. We, we did put on the extreme AI thing, so probably not. Well, they they have changed the rules a bit. In the beginning yeah. of the game, the AI would most definitely do that. <laughs> yeah, they were so dumb. These days, they, um, they won't attack oh, you boy. if you have level 6 or 7 forts. 
and going into semi-automatic rifles. Oh, yeah. Alright. Uh, sorry, sorry, buddy, you're gonna have a bit of a dip in opinion of me. Uh, building walls on your front. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm human. I build the Alpine forts so that I can extend the Maginot. Uh, yeah, build those forts. So you're gonna get a negative 50 opinion of me, but, you know. <laughs> Not at the moment. We're still in good opinion of each other. Yeah. Hey. Don't worry about the Alpine forts, they're, d they're there to defend me and you. It's their reassurance policy. Exactly. It's a symbol of our ally. <laughs> <laughs> the symbol of our ally. Build a wall. Make sure no one goes Build through. Fuck off wall. <laughs> Uh, even if, um, Savoy was once part of Italy, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> oh, time Doesn't to- matter anymore. No, we're beyond such things. Of course.